Hey everyone, today I have a quick Windows 11 tutorial for you. We're going to be showing you how to use snap layouts here in Windows 11. It's a great new feature that was included with Windows 11 that allows you to easily multitask having multiple windows up in various patterns on your screen. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day. We bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into using snap layouts here in Windows 11. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop. Now, snap layouts I found very useful for multitasking here in Windows 11. Maybe you wanna watch a YouTube video and take notes at the same time or do a voice recording. Snap layouts will allow you to easily do that and keep organized on your screen. So we're gonna open up a few different windows here. I've got my notepad. Maybe we wanna take notes in notepad. We've got a voice recorder here and as well as I have Google Chrome with my YouTube channel on it. These are the windows we're gonna be organizing today with snap layouts. So to get started with snap layouts, we just need to go ahead and select the window that we'd like to set first. So whether that's your voice recorder, your text editor in this situation, or your Google Chrome, we just wanna make sure that is selected. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hover over the maximize button here. And you can see when I do that, all sorts of different layouts pop up. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and maximize this to the full window here. And if you're in this sort of a screen where it's full screen, it would be in the very top right hand corner. When you hover over that maximize icon with the square or rectangle there, you're gonna see these different layouts pop up. So these are the ones you can select from, a left and right, a large left, a small right, three small panes, a large left and two small panes on the right, four small panes or one small on the left, one small on the right and a large one in the middle. Now you can see that these little rectangles or squares are all turning blue as we hover over them. So this is the square or rectangle that's gonna be selected with the current window that you're on. So maybe we want my YouTube page here to go in the middle, just like this one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and select that blue one in the middle. If we want it on the left, we'd select that one, but I want that one in the middle. Maybe I want that to be my main um, window. So we're gonna go ahead and select that and when you do that, now it's gonna pop up and ask us what we would like here on the left-hand side. So you can see I have different options here, my notepad, my voice recorder, or even my OBS studio that I'm recording on here. I can go ahead and select my notepad here on the left and you can see it maximizes that here on the left-hand side. And maybe we want my voice recorder on the right-hand side, it's gonna allow me to select that here as well. And that's gonna pop up on the right-hand side. Now. Once I am here, I can go ahead and play my YouTube video. I can actually type notes while I'm watching it, different things like that. It's very easy to do. If you do want to switch layouts to a different layout, you can easily do that. So maybe if I hover over that um, square at the top, I can go, maybe I want my YouTube channel to be on the left here or Google Chrome. It's gonna move that to the left. Maybe I want my notes here on the top and my voice recorder here at the bottom. It allows you to easily manipulate where your screens are and keep you very organized. So a couple other features I wanna show you with snap layouts here are if you wanna adjust the panes, maybe they're not the right size for you. If you hover over the edge of one of the panes where it meets up with another pane, you can actually adjust the sizing here. So maybe I want Google Chrome to be a little bit bigger. I can pull this over just like that. Maybe I want it all the way out there. So you're watching a YouTube video and it's a little bit bigger. And maybe I want my voice recorder to be larger as well. I can easily drag that up just like that and my notes would become a very small section. So you can adjust the panes very easily right there. The other thing I wanna show you is if I go down to the icons here at the bottom, so any of the windows that are in my snap layout, so Chrome, the voice recorder or notepad, and I hover over them, you can see there's these little windows that pop up and one of them says group on it. If I go ahead and right click on group, I can actually minimize the group or restore the group. So if I wanna minimize this group as a whole, I can just go ahead and hit minimize group right there and it's gonna minimize it down. And if I go back to Chrome here, I can just click on that group and load it right back up. So I don't have to individually shut them down and load them back up if I need to get back to my Windows desktop. So I hope this overview of snap layouts here in Windows 11 did help you out. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are interested in learning how to change themes or add themes,
here in Windows 11. I'll have that video linked up here in the corner. You can go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Until next time, thanks for watching and take care.